RealLightCulture.com presents Under the Microscope with BioVision Seed Labs. I'm Lindsay Smith with RealAgriculture.com. I'm joined today by Holly Gellich with BioVision Seed Labs. Uh, we're at CropSphere, if you uh, couldn't tell by the backdrop. <laughs> uh, but of course, we're talking seed testing, and of yes. course, the, the year ahead. Bring us up to speed on where we're at uh, from last fall's harvest uh, to now. Okay, so this year, a uh, big difference. We've seen a lot of samples come in early, and that's primary concern from farmers producers on quality of their seed. So this year, it was fantastic to get the business early. Uh, our messaging has gone out, so it's fantastic. On the other hand, there has been a few watchouts for going forward in the next few months. So, I mean, it was it wasn't a great harvest. It was it was a tough yeah, harvest it was for a lot. Tough. Um, and so, as we discussed a bit earlier, you know. Probably there were many farmers who anticipated an issue with the germ or some of the things with their crop, and, and so we have seen early testing. Um, for farmers that maybe got back not the greatest analysis uh, on that crop, what should they be doing coming up to spring? Well, first thing is they should be looking at their report of analysis. There's a couple things to look at. First off is germination. We saw a lot of germinations in the 80% range, a lot in that mid-80s, and that's very cautionary for a germination in the fall to be in the mid-80s. Uh, another watch out would be a, a wide uh, brand between the germination and the cool stress test. Uh, typically, we would advise 10% is acceptable, but what we're seeing is in some cases a larger distribution between the germ and the cool stress test. And thirdly is we conduct a lot of fungal scans and that will give you all the fungal species that are seed borne. Now there's one of them in particular uh, that is a storage fungus which is very important to take a look at and that's called aspergillus. So if you have aspergillus in your fungal scan that's a precursor to a deterioration in the bin. So if you've done a fungal scan at BioVision watch out for that. So in the next couple months here it's very important if you had any one of those three circumstances is to retest your seed. Okay, so a red flag then. Now what about farmers who maybe didn't get seed test done in the mm. fall? Um, what conditions at harvest may lead to some of these issues and, and which bins maybe should they prioritize getting tested sooner rather than later? Okay, first off, frost damage. Any signs of frost in your area that is definitely something to be very cautious of. The other thing is in crop diseases, uh, in particular the fusariums are, have been a big problem in the Durham crop this past year. They've had a lot of wet moisture in southern Saskatchewan, so the Durham crop has very low germination, so if you haven't tested your Durham, it's priority to get that done right away. Uh, now, of course, we are uh, we're here in January, but mm -hmm. it's amazing how quickly spring can come some years. <laughs> um, any crop types that seed, because of these quality parameters, might already be in short supply. Absolutely. There has been a lot of talk in the last four weeks in regards to malt barley. Malt barley seed is very hard to come by. That is good quality. Also, the Durham seed uh, tonnage available is definitely shortening up. So that's uh, two crops that to be very cognizant of that there will be shortages this upcoming year. Wonderful. Thanks so much, Holly. Great. Thanks, Lindsay.